Hi, this is Kim of buyplrproducts.com. That's all hyphenated, buy-plr-products.com. Um, I want to show you how uh, when you purchase PowerPoint uh, PLR from my website, from my PLR website, how you can then turn it into video and then upload it to places, to video streaming sites. So we're just going to go on to the next page here. So in case you're not familiar, when you purchase PLR, which is also known as private label rights, a PowerPoint presentations from buyplrproducts.com, again all with hyphens, the PowerPoint slides have all been created for you. The research has been done, uh, the slides are all there. All you have to do is now turn those slides into videos. So these videos can then be uploaded to places like YouTube, which I've already mentioned, Vimeo, Blip TV, and other video streaming sites. And uh, if you want to upload it to many uh, video streaming sites, there are software programs that you can use to upload to upload them, or you can do them each manually, but that will take longer. But it just depends where you want to upload them to. So now I'm going to teach you how you do this, how you go about ch uh, turning the PowerPoint uh, slides that you have into a video. So let's learn how on the next page. First what you want to do is you want to open up your Microsoft PowerPoint program. If you don't have uh, PowerPoint, you can still use um, other programs. So it doesn't mean that you, you can't uh, use the PowerPoint slides and turn them into video. You can use uh, sites like openoffice.org or liberaloffice.org. Um, you've got the uh, website addresses right there. And then what happens is once you're inside the PowerPoint program, what you want to do is you want to open up the PowerPoint file that you have purchased from me and that you've downloaded onto your, your computer. So just make sure it's unzipped and then you're going to open it inside the PowerPoint program or OpenOffice or LibreOffice. So here you can see the slides uh, from the PowerPoint video here or on the left side of the page. So this is what it'll look like when you open it up in one of those programs. You'll see the slides. This happens to be the slides from this particular video. All I did was take a screenshot of this. But that's where you will see them. And before creating the video, one last thing that you will need to do is you'll, you may need to make some edits to the PowerPoint slides. So just make sure though that you keep an original copy of the PowerPoint presentation before you start making any changes. The kind of edits um, that you may be looking at may include uh, and it's a good idea is to add a footer with your website address or your business on there, your business address, uh, whatever that may be, so that people know where to go. And you'll want to add or change an affiliate link. Um, sometimes you'll find on the last page of my presentations of the, of the video PowerPoint presentation, you'll see that there is an area where you can add your affiliate link. Um, what you'll want to do is add your website address there. I'm going to give you some information on how you can get the video that you produce to go straight to your affiliate page. I'll do that in a, in a few minutes there. So for example, you'll notice that I added a footer right here on the bottom of each of these slides. And the, where I found that in order to add that footer was under view on my PowerPoint menu bar. Now that may be a little bit different but look on your PowerPoint menu bar and look mine said header slash footer and then I just added in that information and it added it automatically to all of my slides except for my title page which I decided to exclude. So just see right here this is where it was so watch my cursor you can see where I found view to add the footer. Okay so the other thing in terms of edits is you may want to change the text color. You'll find that right here. If you want to add a new slide, you can do that right here. Change the font size, the type of font. If you want to bold something, italicize, underline, you'll find all of that in here as well. On to the next page. Uh, the other thing, what I already mentioned, is you can also make your video clickable. That's really important if you want to bring people to an affiliate link page so that you get commission. 
and so what you can do is you can use um, this program here and best of all it's free so it'll allow you to create a link um, so a target uh, URL where you want people to go in order to uh, to be able to get you to your affiliate page so now you're ready to turn your PowerPoint presentation into a video so you can either purchase software such as Camtasia but there is a learning curve to it and it is expensive you know what there's a lot of inexpensive or free programs um, on the internet that you can download one of the free programs um, that I've used before is Jing and here's the website for that uh, there's also blueberry software um, BB flashback express that you can use and recently I just came across Screencast-O-Matic and that's another one it looks promising so you may want to check that one out as well just google that so a few important things just remember though Jing software even if you buy the um, you upgrade to the to the paid uh, the paid one I think the paid one is something like either about ten but somewhere between ten dollars and fifteen dollars a year it's still limited to five minutes of recording time but you do need to upgrade to that in order to be able to um, get your video in a format that you can upload to uh, these video streaming sites so that you'll have it I think the files AV like AVI and FLV I think they're called the blueberry software allows more than five minutes um, just however though make sure to keep your videos as brief as possible to keep your audience interested and I see I'm already over six minutes so I want to keep you interested in this and now that you have the recording software what you want to do is pull up the full screen of the slideshow so what I do is I go at the top of my PowerPoint menu and I go under slideshow and then it's and then I look for view show and I'll pull up the full screen that way in the full page view you'll notice in the left hand side of the screen right here actually I left it on here to show you um, there's a pointer option and you can hide it if you want right here right here pointer so right now it's automatic I can hide it and it wouldn't even show up on there and all I would do is to advance the slides I can click my mouse while I'm while I'm recording and speaking um, if you're wondering how I've faded these in and done some neat little graphics or you know moving in my text and that and f and fading in um, so you can see the text uh, I did that within my PowerPoint before I even recorded it it's on the right hand side of the screen and it's in the animated slides portion so you can do that as well um, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a microphone to be plugged into your computer if you are speaking while you manually advance the slides and I really recommend you add your voice rather than just adding background music to the slides it just makes it much more interactive and uh, to tell you the truth I find music in the background uh, honestly um, kind of annoying and I often mute it anyway and just one last important thing is always remember that if you've purchased a PLR product from anywhere not just from my store but anywhere then others have also purchased it that's the whole idea behind PLR products you're purchasing um, if you purchase a high quality private labels product at a good price um, instead of hiring a ghostwriter which can cost you you know in excess of twenty dollars a page sometimes um, you're getting it for very very cost-effective price and it saves you the time you don't have to do all the research so other people have purchased it as well just be sure not to say that you are the author for that product instead use words like compiled by when you're creating your your videos and and uh, you're putting together your PLR products or brought to you by and so on words like that that just protects the integrity of all PLR users and their subscribers so you're branding it as your own but you're not actually saying that you made it so be sure to visit my website there's the address right there remember all hyphens in between buy PLR products uh, where you can buy PLR packages that you can begin to put to use immediately thank you for listening